Bay Systems PLC is a British multinational defence, security, and aerospace company. Its headquarters are in London in the United Kingdom with operations worldwide. The company is the largest defence contractor in Europe and among the world's largest defence companies. It was ranked as the third largest based on applicable 2017 revenues. Its largest operations are in the United Kingdom and United States, where its Bay Systems Inc. subsidiary is one of the six largest suppliers to the U.S. Department of Defense. Other major markets include Australia, India, and Saudi Arabia, which account for about 20% of BAE's overall sales. It is the biggest manufacturer in Britain. The company was formed on 30 November 1999 by the £7.7 .7 billion merger of two British companies, Marconi Electronic Systems MES, the Defence Electronics and Naval Shipbuilding subsidiary of the General Electric Company PLC GEC, and British Aerospace Bay, and Aircraft, Munitions and Naval Systems Manufacturer. Bay Systems is the successor to various aircraft, shipbuilding, armoured vehicle, armaments and defence electronics companies, including the Marconi Company, the first commercial company devoted to the development and use of radio, A.V. Row and Company, one of the world's first aircraft companies, de Havilland, manufacturer of the Comet, the world's first commercial jet airliner, British Aircraft Corporation, co-manufacturer of the Concorde Supersonic Transport, Supermarine, manufacturer of the Spitfire, Yarrow Shipbuilders, builder of the Royal Navy's first destroyers, Fairfield Shipbuilding and Engineering Company, pioneer of the triple expansion engine and builder of the world's first battle cruiser, and Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering, builder of the Royal Navy's first submarines. Since its formation it has made a number of acquisitions, most notably of United Defense and Armor Holdings of the United States, and sold its shares in Airbus, Astrium, AMS and Atlas Electronic. Bay Systems is involved in several major defense projects, including the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Astute class submarine and the Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers. Bay Systems is listed on the London Stock Exchange and is a constituent of the FTSE 100 Index. Topic. History. Topic Heritage Bay Systems was formed on 30 November 1999 by the £7.7 .7 billion merger of British Aerospace Bay and Marconi Electronic Systems MES. As a result, Bay Systems is the successor to many of the most famous British aircraft, defence electronics and warship manufacturers. Predecessor companies built the Comet, the world's first commercial jet airliner, the Harrier Jump Jet, the world's first operational vertical, short takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft, the groundbreaking, Blue Vixen radar carried by Sea Harrier FA-2s and which formed the basis of the Eurofighter's captor radar, and co-produced the iconic Concorde supersonic airliner with Aerospatial. British Aerospace was a civil and military aircraft manual manufacturer, as well as a provider of military land systems. The company had emerged from the massive consolidation of UK aircraft manufacturers since World War II. British Aerospace was formed on 29 April 1977 by the nationalisation and merger of the British Aircraft Corporation BAC, the Hawker Siddeley Group and Scottish Aviation. Both BAC and Hawker Siddeley were themselves the result of various mergers and acquisitions. Marconi Electronic Systems was the defence subsidiary of British engineering firm the General Electric Company, GEC, dealing largely in military systems integration, as well as naval and land systems. Marconis Heritage dates back to Guglielmo Marconis Wireless Telegraph and Signal Company, founded in 1897. GEC purchased English Electric which included Marconi in 1968 and thereafter used the Marconi brand for its defense businesses as GEC Marconi and later Marconi Electronic Systems. 
GEC's own defense heritage dates back to World War I, when its contribution to the war effort included radios and bulbs. World War II consolidated this position, as the company was involved in important technological advances, notably the cavity magnetron for radar. Between 1945 and 1999, GEC Marconi, Marconi Electronic Systems became one of the world's most important defense contractors. GEC's major defense-related acquisitions included Associated Electrical Industries in 1967, Yarrow Shipbuilders in 1985, Plessy Companies in 1989, parts of Ferranti's defense business in 1990, the rump of Ferranti when it went into receivership in 1993-1994, Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering in 1995 and Caverner Govan in 1999. In June 1998, MES acquired Tracer, a major American defense contractor, for £830 million, approximately US$1.4 billion c. 1998. Topic. Formation The 1997 merger of American corporations Boeing and McDonnell Douglas, which followed the forming of Lockheed Martin, the world's largest defense contractor in 1995, increased the pressure on European defense companies to consolidate. In June 1997 British Aerospace Defense Managing Director John Weston commented, Europe is supporting three times the number of contractors on less than half the budget of the U.S. European governments wished to see the merger of their defense manufacturers into a single entity, a European aerospace and defense company. As early as 1995, British Aerospace and the German Aerospace and Defense Company Daimler Chrysler Aerospace DASA, were said to be keen to create a transnational aerospace and defense company. The two companies envisaged including Aerospatial, the other major European aerospace company, but only after its privatization. The first stage of this integration was seen as the transformation of Airbus from a consortium of British Aerospace, DASA, Aerospatial and Construcciones Aeronauticus SA into an integrated company, in this aim British Aerospace and DASA were united against the various objections of Aerospatial. As well as Airbus, British Aerospace and DASA were partners in the Panavia Tornado and Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft projects. Merger discussions began between British Aerospace and DASA in July 1998, just as French participation became more likely with the announcement that Aerospatiale was to merge with Matra and emerge with a diluted French government shareholding. A merger was agreed between British Aerospace Chairman Richard Evans and DASA CEO Jürgen Schremp in December 1998. Meanwhile, GEC was also under pressure to participate in defense industry consolidation. Reporting the appointment of George Simpson as GEC Managing Director in 1996, The Independent had said, some analysts believe that Mr. Simpson's inside knowledge of Bay, a long-rumored GEC bid target, was a key to his appointment. GEC favors forging a national champion defense group with Bay to compete with the giant U.S. organizations. When GEC put MES up for sale on the 22nd of December 1998, British Aerospace abandoned the DASA merger in favor of purchasing its British rival. The merger of British Aerospace and MES was announced on the 19th of January 1999. Evans stated that in 2004 that his fear was that an American defense contractor would acquire MES and challenge both British Aerospace and DASA. The merger created a vertically integrated company which the Scotsman described as a combination of British Aerospace's contracting and platform building skills with Marconis' coveted electronic systems capability. For example combining the manufacturer of the Eurofighter with the company that provided many of the aircraft's electronic systems, British Aerospace was MES' largest customer. 
In contrast, DASA's response to the breakdown of the merger discussion was to merge with Aerospatial to create the European Aeronautic Defence and Space Company EADS, a horizontal integration. Seventeen undertakings were given by Bay Systems to the Department of Trade and Industry which prevented a reference of the merger to the Monopolies and Mergers Commission. These were largely to ensure that the integrated company would tender subcontracts to external companies on an equal basis with its subsidiaries. Another condition was the firewalling of former British aerospace and MES teams on defence projects such as the Joint Strike Fighter JSF. In 2007 the government, on advice from the Office of Fair Trading, announced it had agreed to release Bay Systems from 10 of the undertakings due to a change in circumstances. Bay Systems inherited the UK government-owned golden share that was established when British Aerospace was privatised. This unique share prevents amendments of certain parts of the company's Articles of Association without the permission of the Secretary of State. These articles require that no foreign person or persons acting together may hold more than 15% of the company's shares. British Aerospace's head office was in Warwick House, Farnborough Aerospace Centre in Farnborough, Hampshire. Base Systems retains this but the registered office, and base for the senior leadership team, is in the city of Westminster. Topic. 2000s Bay Systems' first annual report identified Airbus, support services to militaries and integrated systems for air, land and naval applications as key areas of growth. It also stated the company's desire to both expand in the U.S. and participate in further consolidation in Europe. Bay Systems described 2001 as an important year for its European joint ventures, which were reorganized considerably. The company has described the rationale for expansion in the U.S. It is by far the largest defense market with spend running close to twice that of the Western European nations combined. Importantly, U.S. investment in research and development is significantly higher than in Western Europe. When Dick Olver was appointed chairman in July 2004 he ordered a review of the company's businesses which ruled out further European acquisitions or joint ventures and confirmed a strategic bias for expansion and investment in the U.S. The review also confirmed the attractiveness of the land systems sector and, with two acquisitions in 2004 and 2005, Bay moved from a limited land system supplier to the second largest such company in the world. This shift in strategy was described as remarkable by the Financial Times. Between 2008 and early 2011 Bay acquired five cybersecurity companies in a shift in strategy to take account of reduced spending by governments on traditional defense items such as warships and tanks. In 2000 Matra Marconi Space, a joint Bay Systems, Matra company, was merged with the space division of DASA to form Astrium. On 16 June 2003 Bay sold its 25% share to EADS for £84 million, however due to the loss-making status of the company, Bay Systems invested an equal amount for restructuring. In January 2001 Airbus Industry was transformed from an inherently inefficient consortium structure to a formal joint stock company. Bay Systems sold its 54% majority share of Bay Systems Canada, an electronics company, in April for 310 Canadian dollars approximately 197 million pounds as of December 2010. In November 2001, the company announced the closure of the Avro Regional Jet Avro RJ production line at Woodford and the cancellation of the Avro RJX, an advanced series of the aircraft family, as the business was no longer viable. The final Avro RJ to be completed became the last British civil airliner. 
In November 2001 Bay sold its 49.9% share of Thomson Marconi sonar to Thales for £85 million. A further step of European defence consolidation was the merger of BAE's share of Matra Bay Dynamics and the missile division of Alenia Marconi Systems AMS, into MBDA in December. MBDA thus became the world's second largest missile manufacturer. Although EADS now Airbus SE, was later reported to be interested in acquiring full control of MBDA, Bay said that, unlike Airbus, MBDA is a core business. In June 2002, Bay Systems confirmed it was in takeover discussions with TRW, an American aerospace, automotive and defense business. This was prompted by Northrop Grumman's 4.1 billion pounds, approximately 6 billion United States dollars c. 2002 hostile bid for TRW in February 2002. A bidding war between Bay Systems, Northrop and General Dynamics ended on the 1st of June when Northrop's increased bid of 5.1 billion pounds was accepted. On the 11th of December 2002, the company issued a shock profit warning due to cost overruns of the Nimrod MRA-4 maritime reconnaissance, attack aircraft and the astute class submarine projects. On 19 February 2003 Bay took a charge of £750 million against these projects and the Ministry of Defence agreed to pay a further £700 million of the cost. In 2000 the company had taken a £300 million lost charge on the Nimrod contract which was expected to cover all the costs of completion of the current contract. The troubled Nimrod project would ultimately be cancelled as part of the 2010 Strategic Defence and Security Review. The UK government, following a cabinet row described as one of the most bitter cabinet disputes over defence contracts since the Westland helicopter affair in 1985, ordered 20 Bayhawk trainer aircraft with 24 options in July 2003 in a deal worth £800 million. The deal was significant because it was a factor in India's decision to finalise a £1 billion order for 66 Hawks in March 2004. Also in July 2003 Bay Systems and Finmechanica announced their intention to set up three joint venture companies, to be collectively known as Eurosystems. These companies would have pooled the avionics, C4 ISTAR and communications businesses of the two companies. However the difficulties of integrating the companies in this way led to a re-evaluation of the proposal. Bay Systems 2004 annual report states that recognizing the complexity of the earlier proposed Eurosystems transaction with Finmechanica we have moved to a simpler model. The main part of this deal was the dissolution of AMS and the establishment of Selix sensors and airborne systems. Bay Systems sold its 25% share of the latter to Finmechanica for 400 million euros, approximately 270 million pounds c. 2007 in March 2007 in May 2004 it was reported that the company was considering selling its shipbuilding divisions bay systems naval ships and bay systems submarines it was understood that general dynamics wished to acquire the submarine building facilities at barrow in furness while vt group was said to be interested in the remaining yards on the clyde Instead, in 2008 Bay Systems merged its surface fleet arm with the shipbuilding operations of VT Group to form BVT Surface Fleet, an aim central to the British government's defence industrial strategy. On 4 June 2004, Bay Systems outbid General Dynamics for Alvis Vickers, the UK's main manufacturer of armoured vehicles. Alvis Vickers was merged with the company's RO defense unit to form Bay Systems Land Systems. Recognizing the lack of scale of this business compared to General Dynamics, Bay Systems executives soon identified the U.S. defense company United Defense Industries UDI, a major competitor to General Dynamics, as a main acquisition target. 
On 7 March 2005 Bay announced the £2.25 billion approximately US$4.2 c. 2005 acquisition of UDI. UDI, now Bay Systems Land and Armaments, manufactures combat vehicles, artillery systems, naval guns, missile launchers and precision guided munitions. In December 2005, Bay Systems announced the sale of its German naval system subsidiary, Atlas Electronic, to ThyssenKrupp and EADS. The sale was complicated by the requirement of the German government to approve any sale. The Financial Times described the sale as cut price because French company Thales bid €300 million Euros, but was blocked from purchasing Atlas on national security grounds. On 31 January 2006 the company announced the sale of Bay Systems Aerostructures to Spirit Aerosystems, Inc., having said as early as 2002 that it wished to dispose of what it did not regard as a core business. On 18 August 2006 Saudi Arabia signed a contract worth £6 billion to £10 billion for 72 Eurofighter Typhoons, to be delivered by Bay Systems. On 10 September 2006 the company was awarded a £2.5 billion contract for the upgrade of 80 Royal Saudi Air Force Tornado IDSs. One of Bay Systems' major aims, as highlighted in the 2005 annual report, was the granting of increased technology transfer between the UK and the US. The F-35 JSF program became the focus of this effort, with British government ministers such as Lord Drayson, Minister for Defence Procurement, suggesting the UK would withdraw from the project without the transfer of technology that would allow the UK to operate and maintain F-35s independently. On 12 December 2006, Lord Drayson signed an agreement which allows an unbroken British chain of command for operation of the aircraft. On the 22nd of December 2006 Bay received a £947 million contract to provide guaranteed availability of Royal Air Force RAF tornadoes. On 7 May 2007 the company announced its subsidiary Bay Systems Inc. was to purchase Armour Holdings for £2.3 billion approximately US$4.5 billion United States dollars c. 2007 and completed the deal on 31 July 2007. The company is a manufacturer of tactical wheeled vehicles and a provider of vehicle and individual armor systems and survivability technologies. Bay Systems and British Aerospace previously was a technology partner to the McLaren Formula One team from 1996 to December 2007. The partnership originally focused on McLaren's F1 cars aerodynamics, eventually moving on to carbon fiber techniques, wireless systems and fuel management. Bay Systems' main interest in the partnership was to learn about the high-speed build and operations processes of McLaren. The company announced the acquisition of Tenex Defence, a major Australian defence contractor on 18 January 2008. The purchase was completed on the 27th of June for 775 million Australian dollars, 373 million pounds, making Bay Systems Australia that country's largest defence contractor. The UK Ministry of Defence awarded Bay Systems a 15-year munitions contract in August 2008 worth up to 3 billion pounds and known as Munition Acquisition Supply Solution Mass. The contract guarantees supply of 80% of the UK Armed Forces ammunition and required Bay to modernise its munitions manufacturing facilities. Bay Systems expanded its intelligence and security business with the £531 million purchase of Dedica Group in July 2008. It continued this strategy with purchases of Danish cyber and intelligence company ETI for approximately $210 million in December 2010, and Norcom Group plc the following month for €217 million. Euros. 
the latter provides counter-fraud and anti-money laundering solutions to the global financial services industry where its software assists institutions to comply with regulations on financial intelligence and monitoring. Topic. Airbus shareholding Bay Systems inherited British Aerospace's share of Airbus industry, which consisted of two factories at Broughton and Filton. These facilities manufactured wings for the Airbus family of aircraft. In 2001 Airbus was incorporated as Airbus SAS, a joint stock company. In return for a 20% share in the new company Bay Systems transferred ownership of its Airbus plants known as Airbus UK to the new company, despite repeated suggestions as early as 2000 that Bay Systems wished to sell its 20% share of Airbus, the possibility was denied by the company until on 6 April 2006 BBC News reported that it was indeed to sell its stake, then conservatively valued at £2.4 billion. Due to the slow pace of informal negotiations, Bay Systems exercised its put option which saw investment bank Rothschild appointed to give an independent valuation. Six days after this process began, Airbus announced delays to the A380 with significant effects on the value of Airbus shares. On 2 June 2006 Rothschild valued the company's share at £1.87 billion, well below its own analysts and even EADS expectations. The Bay Systems Board recommended that the company proceed with the sale. On 4 October 2006 shareholders voted in favour and the sale was completed on 13 October. Bay Systems' sale of its Airbus share saw the end of UK-owned involvement in civil airliner production. Airbus Operations Limited, the former Airbus UK, continues to be the Airbus centre of excellence for wing production, employing over 9,500, but is entirely owned by the Airbus Group, formerly EADS. Topic 2010s In February 2010 Bay Systems announced a £592 million write-down of the former Armour Holdings business following the loss of the family of medium tactical vehicles contract in 2009. It was outbid by Oshkosh Corporation for the £2.3 billion, .7 billion contract. Land and armaments had been the star performer of Bay Systems subsidiaries, growing from sales of £482 million in 2004 to £6.7 billion in 2009. Bay Systems inherited British Aerospace's 35% share of Saab AB, with which it produced and marketed the Gripen fighter aircraft. In 2005 it reduced this share to 20.5% and in March 2010 announced its intention to sell the remainder. The Times stated that the decision brought to an end its controversial relationship with the Gripen fighter aircraft. Several of the export campaigns for the aircraft were subject to allegations of bribery and corruption. The company continued its move into support services in May 2010 with the purchase of the marine support company Atlantic Marine for $352 million. In September 2010 Bay Systems announced plans to sell the Platform Solutions division of Bay Systems Inc., which the Financial Times said could yield as much as £1.3 billion. Despite considerable expressions of interest, the sale was abandoned in January 2011. The purchases of Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers, the Astute class submarines, and the Type 26 frigates were all confirmed. A new generation of nuclear missile submarines, the Dreadnought class, was ordered in 2016. Bay Systems sold the regional aircraft lease portfolio and asset management arm of its Bay Systems regional aircraft business in May 2011. This unit leases the Bay 146, Avro RJ family, Bay ATP, Jetstream, and Bay 748. 
The company retained the support and engineering activities of the business as part of the transaction. In September 2011, Bay Systems began consultation with unions and workers over plans to cut nearly 3,000 jobs, mostly in the company's military aircraft division. In its 2012 half year report, the company revealed a 10% decline in revenue in the six months up to 30 June due to falling demand for armaments. In May 2012 the governments of the UK and Saudi Arabia reached an agreement on an arms package which saw a £1.6 billion contract awarded to Bay for the delivery of 55 Pilatus PC-21 and 22 Bay Systems Hawk aircraft. The Sultanate of Oman ordered Typhoon and Hawk aircraft worth £2.5 billion in December 2012. On 13 September 2012, it was reported that Bay Systems and EADS had entered possible merger talks. In case of a potential tie up, Bay shareholders would own 40% and EADS shareholders would own 60% of the new organization. On 10 October 2012, the company said the merger talks had been called off. The Guardian reported the reason for the collapse of the proposal was due to the German government's concern about the potential size of the French shareholding in the combined company, as well as disagreements over the location of the group's headquarters. On 6 November 2013, Bay Systems announced that 1,775 jobs were to go at its yards in England and Scotland. Shipbuilding would also cease entirely in Portsmouth in 2014 with the loss of 940 jobs, and a further 835 jobs would be lost at Filton, near Bristol, and at the shipyards in Govan, Rosyth, and Scotstown in Scotland. In July 2014 it announced the acquisition of U.S. intelligence capability, Signal Innovations Group Inc., to augment imagery and data analysis technologies in its intelligence and security business. In August 2014, Bay was awarded a £248 million contract from the British government to build three new offshore patrol vessels. In October 2014, Bay Systems won a £600 million contract from the British Ministry of Defence to maintain Portsmouth Naval Base for five years. On 9 October 2014, the company announced the loss of 440 management jobs across the country, with 286 of the job cuts in Lancashire. Bay said that the changes are to make a more efficient and effective business. During 2014 Bay Systems acquired U.S.-based cybersecurity firm Silverski for $232.5 million. During Theresa May's visit to Turkey in January 2017, Bay and Thai officials signed an agreement, worth about £100 million, for Bay to provide assistance in developing the Thai TFX aircraft. On 10 October 2017, Bay announced that it would lay off nearly 2,000 out of its approximately 35,000 employees in Britain, mainly due to an order shortage for the Eurofighter Typhoon fighter. On 21 January 2019, Bay Systems announced that the company would sell a 55% share of its UK land business to Rheinmetall for £28.6 million subject to government approvals. The joint venture JV would be called Rheinmetall Bay Systems Land RBSL and be headquartered at BAE's existing facility in Telford, Shropshire. If approved, the JV will have a positive effect on the UK's mechanised infantry vehicle MIV procurement, which could result in contracts for at least 500 boxer vehicles to equip the UK's future strike brigades. Bay Systems and Rheinmetall are currently competitors in the UK's Challenger 2 Life Extension, Project, LEP, but according to Bay Systems the competition between the companies will continue, an agreement with Rheinmetall ensuring that the solution will be delivered from Telford regardless of the contract winner. Topic. Products. Bay Systems plays a significant role in the production of military equipment. In 2008, 95% of Bay Systems total sales were military related. It plays important roles in military aircraft production. 
The company's Typhoon fighter and Tornado fighter bomber are both front-line aircraft of the RAF. The company is a major partner in the F-35 Lightning II program. Its Hawk Advanced Jet Trainer aircraft has been widely exported. In July 2006, the British government declassified the HERTI High Endurance Rapid Technology Insertion, an unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, which can navigate autonomously. It is currently developing a sixth-generation jet fighter aircraft for the RAF marketed as the Tempest. It is being developed by Team Tempest. Consisting of, UK Ministry of Defence, Bay Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo SP, A, and MBDA, and is intended to enter service from 2035 replacing the Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft in service with the RAF, Bay Systems Land and Armaments manufactures the M2, M3 Bradley Fighting Vehicle family, the US Navy Advanced Gun System, AGS, M113 Armoured Personnel Carrier, APC, M1 109 Paladin, M777 Howitzer, the British Army's Challenger II, Warrior Tracked Armoured Vehicle, Panther Command and Liaison Vehicle, and the SA-80. Major naval projects include the Astute Class Nuclear Submarine, Type 26 Frigate and Queen Elizabeth Class Aircraft Carrier. Topic. Areas of business Bay Systems defines its principal markets to be Australia, Saudi Arabia, the UK and the US. Topic: <laughs> United Kingdom. Bay Systems is the predominant supplier to the UK Ministry of Defence (MOD). In 2009-2010, Bay Systems companies in the list of top 100 suppliers to the MOD received contracts totaling £3.98 billion, with total revenue being higher when other subsidiary income is included. In comparison, the second largest supplier is Babcock International Group and its subsidiaries, with a revenue of £1.1 billion from the MOD. Oxford Economic Forecasting states that in 2002 the company's UK businesses employed 111,578 people, achieved export sales of £3 billion, and paid £2.6 billion in taxes. These figures exclude the contribution of Airbus UK. After its creation, Bay Systems had a difficult relationship with the MOD. This was attributed to deficient project management by the company, but also in part to the deficiencies in the terms of fixed price contracts. CEO Mike Turner said in 2006. We had entered into contracts under the old competition rules that frankly we shouldn't have taken. These competition rules were introduced by Lord Levine during the 1980s to shift the burden of risk to the contractor and were in contrast to cost plus contracts, where a contractor was paid for the value of its product plus an agreed profit. Bay Systems was operating in the only truly open defense market, which meant that it was competing with U.S. and European companies for British defense projects, while they were protected in their home markets. The U.S. defense market is competitive, however largely between American firms, while foreign companies are excluded. In December 2005 the MOD published the Defense Industrial Strategy DIS, which has been widely acknowledged to recognize Bay Systems as the UK's national champion. The DIS identifies key industrial capabilities which must be maintained within the UK through long-term government commitments to support research spending and procurement. Of these capabilities, several are dominated by base systems, including naval vessels and submarines, combat vehicles, fixed-wing aircraft, general munitions with the exception of certain niche capabilities abroad and network-enabled capability defined as C4ISTAR in the DIS. 
The company maintains an interest in future UAV technologies through its collaborative FLAVIIR research program with EPSRC, after the publication of the DIS Bay Systems CEO Mike Turner said. If we didn't have the DIS and our profitability and the terms of trade had stayed as they were, then there had to be a question mark about our future in the UK. Lord Levine said in the balance between value for money or maintaining a viable industrial base the DIS tries as well as it can to steer a middle course and to achieve as much as it can in both directions. We will never have a perfect solution. Topic. United States The attraction of MES to British aerospace was largely its ownership of Tracer, a major American defense contractor. Bay Systems Inc. now sells more to the U.S. Department of Defense DoD, than the U.K. MOD. The company has been allowed to buy important defense contractors in the U.S., however its status as a U.K. company requires that its U.S. subsidiaries are governed by American executives under special security arrangements. The company faces fewer impediments in this sense than its European counterparts, as there is a high degree of integration between the U.S. and U.K. defense establishments. Bay Systems' purchase of Lockheed Martin Aerospace Electronic Systems in November 2000 was described by John Hammer, CEO of the Center for Strategic and International Studies and former Deputy Secretary of Defense, as precedent-setting. Given the advanced and classified nature of many of that company's products, the possibility of a merger between Bay Systems Inc. and major North American defense contractors has long been reported, including Boeing, General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin, and Raytheon. Topic. Rest of the world Bay Systems Australia is one of the largest defence contractors in Australia, having more than doubled in size with the acquisition of Tenex Defence in 2008. The Al Yamama agreements between the UK and Saudi Arabia require the provision of a complete defence package for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Bay Systems employs 5,300 people in the Kingdom. Bay Systems Land Systems South Africa, 75% owned by Bay Systems, is the largest military vehicle manufacturer in South Africa, and is currently taking part in the USMRAP program. Bay Systems' interests in Sweden are a result of the purchases of Alvis Vickers and Udi, which owned Haglunds and Bofors respectively. The companies are now part of Bay Systems AB. Topic. Shareholders As of 21 February 2018 Bay Systems listed the following as significant shareholders, AXASA and its group of companies 5.00%, Barclays plc 3.98%, BlackRock, Inc. 5.00%, Capital Group Companies 10.11%, Franklin Resources Inc., and Affiliates 4.92%, Invesco Limited 4.97% and Silchester International Investors LLP 3.01%. Topic organization Bay Systems has its head office and its registered office in City of Westminster, London. In addition to its central London offices, it has an office in Farnborough, Hampshire that houses functional specialists and support functions. From 1 January 2018 Bay divides its business into the following business groups, Electronic Systems the US and UK Electronics Businesses. Cyber and Intelligence Cyber Security for Government, Commercial and Financial Customers. U.S.-based Intelligence and Security UK-based Applied Intelligence Platforms and Services US Operations in the United States, UK and Sweden. Provides combat vehicles, weapons, munitions and various services including ship repair and maintenance contracts. 
Air UK based air activities, US programs, Saudi Arabian businesses, Australian businesses and the company's share of MBDA. Maritime Bay Systems Maritime, Naval Ships, Bay Systems Maritime, Submarines and Land UK. HQ UK based head office and shared services activities, as well the 49% shareholding in Aristana. Topic. Corporate governance Bay Systems Chairman is Sir Roger Carr. The Executive Directors are Charles Woodburn CEO, Peter Linus and Jerry DeMuro. The Non-Executive Directors are Harriet Green, Chris Grigg, Nick Rose, Paula Rosebutt Reynolds, Ian Tyler, Ravathi Advaithi and Elizabeth Corley. The company's first CEO, John Weston, was forced to resign in 2002 in a boardroom coup and was replaced by Mike Turner. The business reported that Weston was ousted when non-executive directors informed the chairman that they had lost confidence in him. Further, it was suggested that at least one non-executive director was encouraged to make such a move by the MOD due to the increasingly fractious relationship between base systems and the government. As well as the terms of the Nimrod contract, Weston had fought against the MOD's insistence that one of the first three Type 45 destroyers should be built by VT Group. The business said he considered this competition policy gone mad. It is understood that Turner had a poor working relationship with senior MOD officials, for example with former Defense Secretary Jeff Hoon. Significantly the first meeting between Olver and Hoon was said to have gone well, a MOD official commented, He is a man we can do business with. We think it is good to be taking a fresh look at things. It has been suggested that relations between Turner and Olver were tense. On 16 October 2007 the company announced that Mike Turner would retire in August 2008. The Times called his departure plans abrupt and a shock, given previous statements that he wished to retire in 2013 at the age of 65. Despite suggestions that Bay Systems would prefer an American CEO due to the increasing importance of the United States defense market to the company and the opportunity to make a clean break from corruption allegations and investigations related to the Al Yamama contracts, the company announced on 27 June 2008 that it had selected the company's chief operating officer, Ian King, to succeed Turner with effect from 1 September 2008. The Financial Times noted that King's career at Marconi distances him from the British aerospace led Al Yamama project. In 2015, the company invested more than £11 million in charities and not for profit organisations through company and employee donations to support its key areas of customer, education, and heritage. On the 22nd of February 2017, Bay Systems announced that on that day, Ian King had informed the board that he would retire retire on 30 June 2017. It was confirmed that Charles Woodburn, currently Chief Operating Officer, would be appointed as Chief Executive from 1 July 2017. Woodburn joined Bay Systems in May 2016 as Chief Operating Officer and Executive Board Director, following over 20 years international experience in senior management positions in the oil and gas industry. Topic. Financial information Financial information for the company is as follows. Topic. Corruption investigations Topic. Serious fraud office Bay Systems has been under investigation by the Serious Fraud Office, into the use of political corruption to help sell arms to Chile, Czech Republic, Romania, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Tanzania and Qatar. 
In response, Bay Systems' 2006 Corporate Responsibility Report states, We continue to reject these allegations. We take our obligations under the law extremely seriously and will continue to comply with all legal requirements around the world. In June 2007 Lord Wolfe was selected to lead what the BBC described as an independent review an ethics committee to look into how the defense giant conducts its arms deals. Quote dot. The report, Ethical Business Conduct in Bay Systems PLC, The Way Forward, made 23 recommendations, measures which the company has committed to implement. The finding stated that, in the past Bay did not pay sufficient attention to ethical standards in the way it conducted business, and was described by the BBC as, an embarrassing admission. In September 2009, the Serious Fraud Office announced that it intended to prosecute Bay Systems for offenses relating to overseas corruption. The Guardian claimed that a penalty, possibly of more than £500 million might be an acceptable settlement package. On 5 February 2010, Bay Systems agreed to pay criminal fines of £257 million, 400 million United States dollars to the US and £30 million to the UK. The UK had already massively benefited from £43 billion contract in tax receipts and jobs in the UK, and dropped an anti-corruption investigation into the Al-Yamama contracts later taken up by US authorities. Crucially, under a plea bargain with the U.S. Department of Justice, Bay Systems was convicted of felony conspiracy to defraud the United States government and sentenced in March 2010 by U.S. District Court Judge John D. Bates to pay a $400 million fine, one of the largest fines in the history of the DOJ. Judge Bates said the company's conduct involved deception, duplicity and knowing violations of law, I think it's fair to say, on an enormous scale. Bay Systems did not directly admit to bribery, and is thus not internationally blacklisted from future contracts. Some of the £30 million penalty the company will pay in fines to the UK will be paid ex gratia for the benefit of the people of Tanzania. On 2 March 2010, campaign against arms trade and corner house research were successful in gaining a high court injunction on the serious fraud office's settlement with Bay Systems. The high court may order a full review of the settlement. Topic. Saudi Arabia Both Bay Systems and its previous incarnation British Aerospace have long been the subject of allegations of bribery in relation to its business in Saudi Arabia. The UK National Audit Office now investigated the Al Yamama contracts and has so far not published its conclusions, the only now report ever to be withheld. The MOD has stated, The report remains sensitive. Disclosure would harm both international relations and the UK's commercial interests. The company has been accused of maintaining a £60 million Saudi slush fund and was the subject of an investigation by the Serious Fraud Office SFO. In November 2006, Saudi Arabia put pressure on the British government to end the SFO investigation by suspending negotiations over a new deal for 72 Typhoon fighter jets. On 14 December 2006 it was announced that the SFO was discontinuing its investigation into the company. It stated that representations to its director and the Attorney General Lord Goldsmith had led to the conclusion that the wider public interest to safeguard national and international security outweighed any potential benefits of further investigation. The termination of the investigation has been controversial. In June 2007, the BBC's Panorama alleged Bay Systems 
paid hundreds of millions of pounds to the ex-Saudi ambassador to the U.S., Prince Bundar bin Sultan, in return for his role in the al Yamama deals. In late June 2007 the United States Department of Justice DOJ began a formal investigation into BAE's compliance with anti-corruption laws. On 19 May 2008 Bay Systems confirmed that its CEO Mike Turner and non-executive director Nigel Rudd had been detained for about 20 minutes at two U.S. airports the previous week and that the DOJ had issued a number of additional subpoenas in the U.S. to employees of Bay Systems PLC and Bay Systems Inc. as part of its ongoing investigation. The Times suggested that such humiliating behavior by the DOJ is unusual toward a company that is co-operating fully. A judicial review of the decision by the SFO to drop the investigation was granted on 9 November 2007. On 10 April 2008 the High Court ruled that the SFO acted unlawfully by dropping its investigation. The Times described the ruling as one of the most strongly worded judicial attacks on government action, which condemned how ministers buckled to blatant threats that Saudi cooperation in the fight against terror would end unless the investigation was dropped. On 24 April the SFO was granted leave to appeal to the House of Lords against the ruling. There was a two-day hearing before the Lords on 7 and 8 July 2008. On 30 July the House of Lords unanimously overturned the High Court ruling, stating that the decision to discontinue the investigation was lawful. Topic. Others. In September 2005 The Guardian reported that banking records showed that Bay Systems paid £1 million to Augusto Pinochet, the former Chilean dictator. The Guardian has also reported that clandestine arms deals have been under investigation in Chile and the UK since 2003 and that British Aerospace and Bay Systems made a number of payments to Pinochet advisors. In 2003, HMS Sheffield was sold to the Chilean Navy for £27 million, however the government's profit from the sale was £3 million, after contracts worth £24 million were placed with Bay Systems for upgrade and refurbishment of the ship, Bay Systems is alleged to have paid secret offshore commissions of over £7 million to secure the sale of HMS London and HMS Coventry to the Romanian Navy. The company received a £116 million contract for the refurbishment of the ships prior to delivery, however the British taxpayer only received the scrap value of £100,000 each from the sale. Bay Systems ran into controversy in 2002 over the abnormally high cost of a radar system sold to Tanzania. The sale was criticized by several opposition MPs and the World Bank. Secretary of State for International Development Claire Short declared that Bay Systems had ripped off developing nations. In December 2010, leaked U.S. diplomatic communications revealed that Edward Hosea, the Tanzanian prosecutor investigating misconduct by Bay Systems, had confided in U.S. diplomats that his life may be in danger and was being routinely threatened. In January 2007, details of an investigation by the Serious Fraud Office into Bay System sales tactics in regard to South Africa were reported, highlighting the £2.3 billion deal to supply Hawk trainers and Gripen fighters as suspect. In May 2011, as allegations of bribery behind South Africa's Gripen procurement continued, the company's partner Saab AB issued strong denials of any illicit payments being made. However, in June 2011, Saab announced that Bay Systems had made unaccounted payments of roughly $3.5 million to a consultant. This revelation prompted South African opposition parties to call for a renewed inquiry. 
The Gripen's procurement by the Czech Republic was also under investigation by the Serious Fraud Office in 2006 over allegations of bribery. Topic. Criticism Topic. Espionage In September 2003 the Sunday Times reported that Bay Systems had hired a private security contractor to collate information about individuals working at the campaign against arms trade and their activities. In February 2007, it was reported that the corporation had again obtained private confidential information from CAAT. The company was reported in 2012 to have been the target of Chinese cyber espionage that may have stolen secrets related to the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. Topic: <laughs> Nuclear weapons. In 2006, Bay Systems was excluded from the portfolio of the Government Pension Fund of Norway because they develop and or produce central components for nuclear weapons. According to the ethical guidelines for the Norwegian Government Pension Fund, global, companies that produce weapons that through normal use may violate fundamental humanitarian principles shall be excluded from the fund. Bay Systems is indirectly engaged in production of nuclear weapons, through its 37.5% share of MBDA it is involved with the production and support of the ASMP missile, an air-launched nuclear missile which forms part of the French nuclear deterrent. The company is also the UK's only nuclear submarine manufacturer and thus produces a key element of the United Kingdom's nuclear weapons capability. However, commentators pointed out Norway has bound their strategic defence to the UK's since Napoleonic times, including both protection under the British nuclear deterrent as well as the joint NATO nuclear sharing policy. Topic. Cluster bombs Bay Systems was in 2003 initially criticized for its role in the production of cluster bombs, due to the long-term risk for injury or death to civilians. Following the 2008 Oslo Convention on Cluster Munitions Bay Systems was among the first defense contractors to stop their manufacture and by 2012 the majority of the munitions had been destroyed. Topic. Saudi war crimes in Yemen Saudi Arabia is BAE's third biggest market. The Independent reported that, in 2014, British defence firm Bay won a contract worth £4.4 billion to supply the Saudis with 72 fighter jets, some of which were used to bomb Red Cross and MSF hospitals in Yemen. The chairman of Bay Systems, Sir Roger Carr, rejected criticism over BAE's continued work in Saudi Arabia, saying, We will stop doing it when they tell us to stop doing it. We maintain peace by having the ability to make war and that has stood the test of time. Topic. Political influence Former Foreign Secretary Robin Cook said of his time in office that he came to learn that the chairman of Bay appeared to have the key to the garden door to number 10. Certainly I never knew number 10 to come up with any decision which would be incommoding to Bay. As well as employing in-house lobbyists, Bay Systems also employs a lobbying agency called Portland PR. Many of Portland PR's staff have worked at the upper echelons of both Labour and Conservative governments. Topic. See also Aerospace industry in the United Kingdom 
Prince Sultan Advanced Technology Research Institute PSATRI, a defense research and development partner. <laughs>